Welcome once again to Commander by Danon. I'm excited to announce that this channel is sponsored by Ultimate Guard. Ultimate Guard makes these beautiful solid color playmats like this one in a gorgeous shade of crimson. Apologies for the amateur lighting, it really is a pretty shade of red. One of my favorite things about Ultimate Guard is their vibrant color palette. This mat is surprisingly thick and much smoother than other playmats I've used before. And since it's my favorite color, this one will probably be my go-to from now on. Find out if your game store carries Ultimate Guard products, or click the link in the video description to their Amazon store. Today's video was brought to us by Patreon supporter Daniel. Huge thanks to Daniel and the rest of my Patreon supporters. Daniel reached out asking for an update to his The Ur-Dragon deck, and I was more than happy to help him. But before we get started, I'd like to quickly ask you to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel, and it's free. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. The Ur-Dragon is a 9-mana 10-10 legendary dragon avatar with flying. It also has eminence, a keyword that many in the community aren't fond of. Whether the Ur-Dragon is in the command zone or on the battlefield, dragon spells we cast cost one less to cast. Additionally, whenever one or more dragons we control attack, we draw that many cards. Then we may put a permanent card from our hand onto the battlefield. The Ur-Dragon is a powerful commander, and even at 9 mana, they are one of the most popular commanders in the game. Lately, we've been getting a lot of dragons, as well as some great tribal support cards. But before we get to our deck list, we should keep in mind our checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp. 10 pieces of card advantage. 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal. 2 to 3 board wipes. 2 pieces of graveyard hate. One Sudden I Win card. Command Tower. Ancient Tomb. Cavern of Souls. Haven of the Spirit Dragon. Exotic Orchard. Flooded Strand. Polluted Delta. Bloodstained Mire. Wooded Foothills. Windswept Heath. Marsh Flats. Scalding Tarn, Verdant Catacombs, Arid Mesa, Misty Rainforest, Hallowed Fountain, Watery Grave, Blood Crypt, Stomping Ground, Temple Garden, Godless Shrine, Steam Vents, Overgrown Tomb, Sacred Foundry, Breeding Pool, Indatha Triome, Rogrim Triome, Zagoth Triome, Savai Triome, Ketria Triome, One Plains, One Island, One Mountain, One Swamp, and Two Forests make up our mana base. Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Dragon's Horde, The Great Henge, Sarkin Fireblood, Herald's Horn, Three Visits, Farseek, Azusa Lost But Seeking, Dryad of the Elysian Grove, Burgeoning, Exploration, Crucible of Worlds, Conduit of Worlds, Ramanup Excavator, and Dockside Extortionist make up our mana ramp package. A little heavy? Sure, but dragons aren't exactly cheap. Teamer Ascendancy, Ristic Study, Return of the Wild Speaker, Stinging Study, Eladomri's Call, Demonic Tutor, Sylvan Library, Sarkin Unbroken, and Savitri Dragon Master help us dig through our deck and find answers. I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but remember, four of our ramp pieces double as card advantage or filtering. Commit Memory, Negate, Abrade, Assassin's Trophy, Swords to Plowshares, Anguished Unmaking, Fracture, Beast Within, Generous Gift, 
and Counterspell make up our spot removal package. But we've also got Heroic Intervention, Teferi's Protection, and Boros Charm for protection. Crux of Fate, Blasphemous Act, Cyclonic Rift, Dam, and Farewell help us to reset the board as needed. Zergo and Ojitai, Invasion of Tarkir, Atarka World Render, Miram Sentinel Worm, Tiamat, Lathless Dragon Queen, Udvara Hellkite, Dragon Lord Dramoka, Terror of the Peaks, Old Gnawbone, Bladewing the Risen, Two Headed Hellkite, Culligan the Storm's Fury, Karthus Tyrant of Jund, Belladros Witherbloom, and Dragon Lord Culligan make up our dragons. We've also got Dragon Tempest, Sarkin Dragon Soul, Monster Manual, and Dragon Arch to help support our dragons. Now that we have our deck list, we should compare it to our checklist. 54 mana sources split between 36 lands and 18 pieces of ramp. A little heavy, but dragons are expensive, so it's fine. 15 pieces of card advantage. 10 pieces of interaction plus 3 pieces of protection. 5 board wipes. 2 pieces of graveyard hate in farewell and commit memory. 2 sudden I win cards in Sarkin Dragon Soul and Sarkin Unbroken. Okay, so Sarkin Unbroken takes a lot longer to ultimate, but Sarkin Dragon Soul only takes 2 more turns after he comes out for us to win the game on the spot. But we're not a Super Friends deck, we're a dragon deck. Our goal is to slam as many dragons as possible, as quickly as possible, and overwhelm our opponents. That being said, we have enough board wipes to slow the game down, allowing us to create an ideal board state for our flight of dragons. Now, I know there are a lot of dragons that we could have included in this list. By my rough estimate, there are about 50 dragons that are top tier. In fact, I may do a dragon tier list one day. The problem is you can't slot all 50 dragons into a single deck. You need interaction, board wipes, and card advantage in order to win the game. Which means you usually only have about 20 to 25 slots to fit your dragons into. Do you have a dragon deck? Who's your commander? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash One of the tiers is specifically set up for Commander. For only $25, I will build you a custom Commander deck based around your specifications, and even do a deck video on it. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons, Waffles, Jiraiya, Muffins, Marcus, Phoenix Vice, Squishy, Brett, Roxy, Josh, Sean, Richard, Pob Zombie, Mark, Danny, Alex, John, Ignis, Steel, Steve, and Kevin. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos often, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Also, if you're a fan of anime and manga like I am, feel free to check out my other channel, Musings by Danan. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Danan.